Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a basketball arena. This is the amount of space required to make the basketball arena. And here are all of the materials that we will need to make in. Begin by placing a row of 19 black concrete in a row on the ground. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We then want to place a light grey concrete behind and to the right of the black concrete. Extend right by two, one, two. Place another light grey concrete right and behind. Extend right one. Then place another light grey concrete right and behind. Place a grey concrete to the right of this. Extend upwards by two, one, two. Then extend to the right by four. One, two, three, four. We then want to extend backwards by four. One, two, three, four. Join down to the ground. We then want to place a light grey concrete behind the grey concrete that is on the ground. And then behind and to the right of the light grey concrete, place another light grey. Extend back one. Then place another light grey concrete behind and to the right and extend back by two, one, two. And then it's actually easier if we take a look at it from a side view like this. We want to grab the black concrete and place a black concrete outwards and to the right like this, and then extend that black concrete all the way to the right by 48. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and then 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. We then want to place grey concrete, light grey specifically, inwards and to the right, extend right to, 1, 2, Place another light grey concrete inwards and to the right, and then right one. Another light grey inwards and to the right. Place a grey concrete to the right of it. Extend up by two, one, two. Extend to the right by four, one, two, three, four. And then across the back of the build by four, one, two, three, four. Join down to the ground. We then want to place a light grey concrete behind the grey concrete on the ground like this. And just to make things easier, we are looking at the build from this perspective. We then want to place a light grey concrete in front of and to the right of the previous light grey, extend right one. And then another light grey, forwards and to the right, extend right by two, one, two. Then a black concrete forwards and to the right, like this. We then want to extend the black concrete to the right by 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We then want to place a light grey concrete inwards and to the right, and extend right by 2, 1, 2. 
Another light grey concrete inwards and to the right, right by one. Another light grey inwards and to the right, place a grey concrete to the right of that. Extend up to one, two, and then right by four, one, two, three, four. We then want to extend towards the front of the build by four, one, two, three, four, and then join down to the ground. It's just easier once again if we kind of like take this perspective right here of the build. We then want to place a light grey concrete behind the grey concrete that hit the ground. And then in front of and to the right of this, place a light grey, extend right. In front of and to the right of this, place another light grey, extend right too. In front of and to the right of this, place another black concrete. And we once again have to count out a gruelling row of 48. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and it seems as though it lines up with the opposite side, which is perfect. So we then want to place a light grey concrete inwards and to the right, and extend right to 1, 2. Another light grey con concrete inwards and to the right, extend right one. Another light grey inwards and to the right, place a grey concrete right of that, and extend up by two, one, two. Extend right by four, one, two, three, four. And then taking this view of the build, we want to extend right by four, one, two, three, four. And then join down, place a light grey concrete to the right of the grey on the ground. In front of and to the right of the light grey, place a light grey extend right one and then lastly place another light grey concrete forwards and to the right and then join back diagonally now that ladies and gentlemen was quite a task but believe me this is probably the hardest part of the build complete so this is what we should be looking at that looks very satisfying with the foundation of the build complete, ladies and gentlemen, what we can now do is go all the way around the build and extend every single black concrete and light grey concrete upwards by five. So one, two, three, four, five. And we literally have to do this going all the way around the build. So now that we have raised up all of that light grey and all of that black concrete, on each one of the four corners of the arena, we now want to extend these light grey concrete rows inwards, one row on both sides, like this. We then want to place an additional row of light grey that extends inwards like this. So we want to have one row here that extends inwards by two rows and then one row here that extends inwards by two rows and together they form kind of like this corner shape like this and we can then add a grey concrete here just in the top like this which is perfect and that is kind of the extent of what the corners of the arena will look like and by the way this is an entrance a separate entrance on each side so they're all identical we have to do the exact same thing on every side and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now For the next part of this, we want to take each one of the four corners of the arena and we want to extend both sides of the light grey concrete corners at the top like this, right? We want to extend them inwards like this to form a triangle or 
better yet, a Dorito. A light grey Dorito, but a Dorito nonetheless. And we want to extend these rows in and fill in the tops of each of the corners. And we will later add a bit more shape and purpose to these shapes. But this will help us out a little bit later. It's not quite as easy as just extending the top over like this and then just filling in the sides. Like, if we were to fill these sides in like this, like extend these sides down, then we wouldn't be able to actually, like, get on the court because we would close ourselves in. We have to make a little bit of a tunnel. But for now, I think that we can just be satisfied extending the tops over like so. With all of these platforms complete, we can now add glass to the top of the stadium. On top of the rows of black concrete, we want to add four rows of glass. One, two, three, four. So this is on each one of the flat sides of the stadium. For the light grey concrete areas, we want to add glass as well. And we also want to have four rows. However, on the light grey concrete rows, we want to have curved glass like this, and it wants to join together in the corners, and it will join diagonally to the long flat rows of glass that we have. So we have to do exactly that. With all of that glass added, we now also have to add a layer of black concrete that extends all the way around the outside of the top of the light grey concrete area that we have on each one of the four corners of the build. So the black concrete will just sit around the side, it will join together like that in kind of a ring, and we want to have it on each one of the four corners of course. Now that we have placed black concrete around each one of the four corners, we also want to place black concrete directly on top of the flat parts of the arena. So what I mean by the flat parts are basically where we have the left, right, front and back sides of the arena. Not the curved parts, just the long straight parts. So now that we have placed four rows of black concrete that are just straight rows, we then want to extend each one of these rows together by placing black concrete that extends around the edge of the glass 
that we have on the corners. So it's, it's kind of difficult to explain it in words, but hopefully you can kind of see. So these rows of black concrete actually, actually sit parallel to each other, as you can see like this, and it kind of just gives an interesting effect, like it sits on top of the glass on the sides, but then it curves around on the edges. It, it just looks a little bit more interesting, in my opinion. And of course, as you might imagine, we want to do this on each one of the four corners of the arena. With that complete, we can move on to the next part. So, oddly enough, if we complete the inside of each one of the four entrances, that will help us to build the roof. You'll see why in a moment. So, when it comes to the entrances, we want to come inside any one of the four entrances. It doesn't really matter. I so happen to have picked this one, which we've kind of partially built. We want to place light grey concrete along the insides of the grey concrete rows that we place, placed previously. And then, extending inwards diagonally from these rows, we want to place light grey concrete. So, extend the light grey concrete inwards like this, and the idea is that we want to line up the light grey with the light grey that we have above. So, basically, extend it far enough that you are able to join it upwards like this, right? And then we are going to shape this a little bit. So the way that we will shape it is if you connect these two rows that kind of converge on this point together in the ground diagonally, and to represent this a bit better, we'll place some smooth stone since that is the inevitable material that will be the floor. We want to have that shape up here. So as long as it matches like this, right? And then if we were to fill this in using light grey concrete, so um, we essentially just want to fill these sides in like this, and it's up to you whether you want to have the tunnel be like tall, like this, like you can have, oh, well, I guess we've got this other side in. But something to think about whilst we are filling in these sides is how tall do you want this tunnel to be for the arena? So do you want it to be nice and tall like this? Do you want to extend or th this is uh, another option as well. I only just thought about this rarely. Like we could sneak in some sea lanterns just here. So that kind of highlights the entrance like this. Got a nice tall uh, got a nice tall walk-in tunnel. We have to choose a floor material for the tunnel. My personal choice would be smooth stone because the pavement is smooth stone as well. And in my mind, it kind of just goes together nicely, really. Like, you just walk off of the street into here or walk from the car park to the street into here. You know, it just kind of, like, flows together rather nicely. So, all different things to think about. It doesn't matter too much. Um, we probably want to drop the height of this a little bit so we just want to add an additional row of light gray concrete just underneath the top and the reason being is after we just fill the side of this in because i just want this to be nice and airtight and i do suppose this kind of like opens up if we do drop the height of this a little bit then we can place even more sea lanterns in the roof so this can be nice and illuminated and we can also add a different ceiling material so we can add some grey concrete so a nice little bit of a contrast really got a few different materials in here like this like it's looking good now what we want to do and the reason that we drop this down row is because we want to wrap around black concrete like this right so black concrete wants to be placed along the top of this little platform here and we want to extend the black concrete backwards by two rows on both sides like this so it's kind of like a nice curve really and then we are going to extend the black concretes up by two rows and the idea is that this would be like a scoreboard or a screen or you know something similar so that is the shape that we're going for we want to have this on each one of the four corners and i, I guess we should probably work on that
We also have to shape these screens a little bit better, so the way to do this is basically how we have these diagonal rows here. We want to fill in the gaps in between them like this, so we kind of want to turn them into a W. I can't help but think about Mario. Wario. Mario. Anyway, we want to do this with each one of the screens, so we just want to shape them a little bit better like this. And now we've finally reached the point that we come full circle, or shall I say, full rectangle. That will make more sense in a second. So, now that we have each one of the four entrances complete with the screens, we want to place a black glass behind the centre part of the screen, so like this, in inside of the crease of the W, the Wario moustache, if you will. And this glass wants to be raised up two rows, one, two. It essentially wants to match the height of the glass that we have in the surrounding area of the arena. And then we want to stick a black concrete on top and extend that black concrete the same direction as each edge of the screen goes and also the actual entrance. So this way, we want to extend three rows, one, two, three, and this way, one, two, three. So basically outwards from the center of the arena. You guys get the idea, it will look like this. Now that we've done that here, we want to come to the opposite side, still the same end of the stadium, but this opposite side, and we want to place a glass behind the screen, extend up one, two rows, black concrete on top, and then extend outwards, one, two, three, and outwards, one, two, three. So we can already connect these two rows together. So it, we can extend both of these sides together, and it will look like this. And if we come all the way over to the opposite side of the arena here, we want to place a glass in the middle of the screen, or one, two, black concrete, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we should be able to join these two rows of black concrete together. It might take a little while because it is a really long area, but eventually we will hit any minute now, <laughs> this. So you can already see where this is going. This basically helps us just shape the roof a little bit and it's gonna look really cool once it's done. So we want to of course come to the final screen and then connect everything together. And now that we have this rectangular overly shape, remember when I said it would come full rectangle? I was wrong, it comes full oval. So the next thing that we want to do is on top of this oval shape, we want to stack three layers of glass. So one, two, three, and of course we want to go around the entire thing three times. However, that isn't the whole story, as we will also want to place a black concrete on top of those three rows of glass, and that black concrete is going to follow the same trajectory as the black concrete oval below us. And then we want to fill the stadium in, or arena. What's the difference between a stadium and arena? Is an arena closed and a stadium open? I don't know, somebody Google it, I'm not gonna. So what this all ultimately culminates in is extending up the center part of the roof in a nice shape that simultaneously, it kind of highlights the court below and it allows us to hang something interesting above center court and it just adds a really nice shape to the stadium and it just kind of splits things up together nicely. So 
So what we basically want to do now that we have achieved this shape right here is fill in the lower level of the stadium using glass, so black glass of course, the same glass that we've used throughout the entire build. We want to fill the kind of like outer oval part in with black glass. We then want to fill the sides of the oval in with black glass. And then finally the top of the like extended up center part of the oval in with black glass as well. It all sounds kind of complicated as I'm trying to explain it now, but it will become very, very obvious as you fill in each one of these parts how it is supposed to look. With all of the glass placed in the roof, we are also going to add an additional layer of black concrete that goes all the way around the edge of the top of the roof, just to help distinguish it from the surrounding area. With the roof complete, we can finally move on to something else. You've got to admit though, I mean, it's pretty grand in here. So the first thing that I want to do inside of here is make the large stands. So the large stands are on the long sides of the arena. The way that we do this is by grabbing white concrete and coming to either one of the ends of the arena here. From the edge of the arena entrance, we want to place a row of 22 white concrete extending in towards the center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Dig a row of 5 in the ground extending right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fill that in with birch planks and then place a row of white concrete that should also end up being a row of 22 that extends over to the opposite side of the arena like this. What we then want to do is place black carpet on top of the white concrete. We then want to extend this row of birch planks here backwards by two rows, like this, so just the row of five. Then we want to place a layer of stone brick slabs behind the rows of birch planks, with then a layer of light grey concrete behind these stone brick slabs. We then want to place a layer of stone brick slabs above and behind the light grey concrete, with then another row of light grey concrete behind the stone brick slabs and then another layer of stone brick slabs above and behind the light grey. And finally, one last layer of light grey concrete like this, which then we have to connect to the wall using a layer of black concrete. And this layer of black concrete is actually going to travel up the wall and it's kind of going to shape things a little bit like this. So what we then want to do is grab the smooth quartz stairs 
And leaving a gap of one between this white concrete wall, we want to place a layer of smooth quartz stairs that sits left and right of the staircase that we've made here, but we'll just make the left side first. And behind the smooth quartz stairs, we want to have an entire row of black concrete, like this. And then, above and behind that row of black concrete, we will have a layer of smooth quartz stairs, which, honestly, is so much easier to place on something. We will probably have to do this in the future. Uh, you know what? I was being lazy by not placing an additional row of black concrete, and look where we are now. So, behind the smooth quartz stairs, we are going to place two rows of black concrete just because it makes it so much easier to place the stairs. The reason is because these stairs can, like, flare off to the side, so you've got to be rather careful placing them, and honestly, I mean, it's just, it's really just not even worth it in the end to, to try and do it carefully. So, what we will then do, of course, is place another layer of black concrete just behind, and this is going to be ever so slightly different in that once we have placed the two rows of black concrete we will of course have this final row of smooth quartz stairs here and then to keep this a little bit different than the center part we are just going to place black concrete directly behind the stairs like this right so instead of raising up the black concrete up Behind these stairs, we're just going to kind of like keep it a little bit different. I just think it looks a little bit nicer and adds a bit of variance. We can even add some iron bars next to the quartz stairs as we rise up this staircase. And we also have to add a row of birch planks in front of the bottom row of seating here. And once that has been complete, we of course want to do the exact same thing just on this opposite side. So we will do exactly that. There we go, that is the long side of the arena complete, and once that has been done, slowly turn around for effect, we will do the exact same thing to this side. Now that we have got both of those big sides completed, we also have the two small sides. So, start at either end of the arena, come all the way to the edge of the entrance once again. In the ground, dig a row of three, 
extending over to the other side, one, two, three, replace that using birch planks. Then a row of white concrete extending over to the opposite side, leaving a gap of three, dig that out, place birch planks in there. Place black carpet on top of the white concrete like this. Then we want to leave a gap of one behind the white concrete and then place a layer of smooth quartz stairs like so. We're then placing two rows of black concrete behind the stairs like this and then a layer of smooth quartz stairs on top of the black concrete. We then want to place two layers of black concrete behind the smooth quartz stairs. I think that you guys are probably getting the pattern by now. Now, eventually, we kind of hit this point here where we would want to add another row of smooth quartz stairs. So, on top of the black concrete area here. And then we are going to extend the smooth quartz stairs outwards to occupy this entire back row. And then place black concrete behind the entire row of smooth quartz, just like this. I don't think that we've left any gaps, have we? It's easier to tell from underneath than the top. For whatever reason, I have a really difficult time spotting like the black concrete on the black concrete. So, now that we have made all of the seating, we want to extend some stembrick slabs left and right of the uh, the smooth quartz stairs that we have on either side and the black concrete as well so we'll extend the well we could also use the light grey concrete too so if you did want to differentiate it although I do kind of like the black concrete as an extension so smooth quartz slab or rather stone brick slabs black concrete behind slabs extend the black concrete slabs although kind of unnecessary row actually no there's this extra row here and then black concrete behind and I, it's also nice that it's a bit different from the two middle stands as well so we'll just do this on the opposite side as well of course and there we go that's kind of like the whole thing except of course oh we've just got to do the bird planks just dig out the entire ground area but once that has been complete that is pretty much the entire small part of the stand and that looks great so now we of course want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side With each one of the four stands complete, we are now going to make the hoops. So, we want to come to the small stands. So, one on each end of the arena, it doesn't matter which one we start on. We want to find the center of the stand. This should be fairly easy, like, I'm pretty sure that this is the middle, and we will have, if this is the middle block, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks on the left, and one, two, three, four, five, six blocks on the right. So this is the middle block. In the ground, we want to dig one, two, three blocks forwards and place a cyan terracotta in that third block. Dig around the cyan terracotta, place black concrete in there, and then stone buttons on each one of the four corners. Place five polished black stone walls on top of the cyan. One, two, three, four, five. Extend forwards one, up one, right two place a black concrete in the corner and a white stained glass on the end of the row of black stone wall glass paint all the way around the white stained glass block like this but not underneath it extend the glass left and right a row like this using white stained glass paint we then want to place cobweb in front of and below the white stained glass and then mangrove signs all the way around the edge of the web and there we go that is the hoop and the stand and that's pretty good so now we want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side here once we have found the center of the stand which i believe to be this block one two three and then it's pretty simple from here
There we go. Perfect. The next thing that we are going to make is the court. So, the way that we are going to plan out the court is this. We want to come all the way to the entrances once again. So pick any one of the four entrances. We are looking towards the light grey concretes that connect to the long sides of these stands. And we want to dig left of the light grey concrete here. One, two, three, four. And then forwards, one, two. Place a white concrete. Come all the way over here to the opposite end and we want to dig one, two, three, four, one, two, white concrete. Opposite side, one, two, three, four, one, two, white concrete. And last but not least, one, two, three, four, one, two, white concrete. Now, I think that you guys are going to see where this is going. We want to connect all of these together in the ground. So we will eventually end up with this rather large rectangle. The next thing that we want to do is make center core. So this is really easy to find. Take any one of the long sides and find the middle block in between these two rows of white concrete. So this birch plank here is the center. You can tell because there's two on the left and two on the right. Follow this towards the white concrete grid that we've just made, and you then want to dig seven rows inwards towards the center from this block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and do the same on the opposite side. So you can just follow along, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can then fill these in using white concrete so that we have these rows locked down. We then want to dig either side of these two rows, so moving towards where the hoops are, we then want to dig inward diagonally from both sides like this, right? So just like this. We then want to join these together with two rows of three white concrete that are just placed on the outsides, so diagonally like this. And then we can literally just cut straight through the middle here and we have what is essentially a pokeball. And now that we have the pokeball we now have to make the markings on the ends of the court as well so pick any side once again and come to the corner we want to find the fourth block inwards so this would be one two three four we then want to dig seven rows one two three four five six seven like this towards the center of the court we then want to extend outwards diagonally one dig one outwards diagonally in one outwards diagonally we're then going to come to the opposite side and instead of counting out and stuff we're going to come to this opposite corner and count inwards one two three and then we want to dig one two three four five six seven just as we did on that opposite side there and then we want to dig inwards diagonally one extend outwards one inwards diagonally extend in one inwards diagonally and then extend and connect over like this and then we can fill all of this in using white concrete like so and this is the outer part of the markings complete we now have an inner circle we now want to make the inner set of markings so come all the way to this point here where we started to extend out for the previous set of markings and count inwards one two three four and then we want to dig six blocks one two three four five six like this and then we want to come to the opposite side here and do the same thing. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, like this. And then we want to connect these together and fill this in using white concrete, just like so. We then want to extend these blocks forwards one, like this. Extend inwards diagonally. 
and then join these together diagonally like this. So the end result is a shape that should look very much like that. It's really easy to make, especially once you can actually see the whole picture. And we want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So if we come over to the opposite side here, start from the corner, we want to count inwards. One, two, three, and then dig seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inward diagonally one, out one, inward diagonally, right one, inward diagonally, and then come to the opposite side. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then inward diagonally, forwards one, inward diagonally, left one, another diagonal block moving outwards. Then we can fill all of this in using white concrete like so. Now, for the inner set of markings, all we have to do is from this corner here, we want to count one, two, three, four to the left, and then we want to dig forwards one, two, three, four, five, six. Come to the opposite corner here one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fill these rows in using white concrete and also connect them together as well. Extend these corner blocks forwards. Add two sets of diagonals, join them together on the end, and then fill all this in using white concrete. The end result will look like this, and these are all of the markings for the core, believe it or not. And it really does make such a huge difference in here. For this next part, you want to make your way to center core. And we want to locate each one of the corner singular diagonal blocks, right? So the point of this is that we want to follow these blocks from the floor all the way to the ceiling. And I'm just using birch planks to help me here. And on the ceiling, we want to place ourselves a black concrete. So I'm just going to follow this along here and there should be a gap of three. So one, two, three, and then this fourth block will be black concrete. And I'm just using just below one, two, three, black concrete, one, two, three, actually, so it should be four. So one, two, three, four, black concrete, one, two, three, four, black concrete, and then there we go. So if we remove all of the birch now, we should find that if we space these four blocks apart, these should actually sit parallel to the rows that we were working off on the ground. And the reason that we have done that is because we want to drop down rows of four polished black stone wall, one, two, three, four, from each one of these blocks. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We then want to place black concrete in between the fourth walls. So extending all the way in between the fourth set of concretes like this. And then we're going to drop the black concretes down on every single side like this. That is absolutely perfect. And then last but not least, we are going to fill the... So this is kind of difficult to do without adding additional blocks, but it can be done here. So we want to just add paintings to... And you don't even have to if you don't want to, to be honest. Like if you, if you just want to leave it as is. But the point is that I'm going to add paintings to the black concrete parts here to kind of help iterate that this is like a scoreboard or replays or, you know, it's just a set of screens kind of like in the center of the court and everybody can see them and that's kind of like what these are as well. But you could keep the score there or, you know, whatever it is that you like, but it's just like a nice addition to the build. And then we want to connect the black concretes together long ways like this just at the top here extend the black concretes outwards a row and then join them together like this so kind of like an oval so we extend them outwards a row and then we join them together diagonally and then if we take a look here it just it just looks really really good now last but not least ladies and gentlemen we have the harrowing task of replacing every single grass block left inside of the arena with birch planks
And the final piece of the puzzle, ladies and gentlemen, how can we play basketball without the ball? There we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Good bye.